Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306 back with another review video. This time we're going to look at something pretty neat, I think. Anyway, I was contacted by a company uh, called Pem Peminol. Sounds like some kind of aftermarket knockoff cold medicine. I anyway, uh, yeah, and they sell like electronics -y kits sort of stuff. And uh, this model in particular is their... Uh, music Tesla Quill. Now, there are two models that they sell, one without the music capability and the other one with. Uh, the one without is, I want to say, 80 bucks, and the one with is like 88 If it's that close in price, might as well spend the $8 and get the extra added capability anyway, unless if you're absolutely sure that you're not going to use it. Anyway, I uh, thought this would be pretty interesting to take a look at. I have a small... Uh, Tesla coil that I reviewed in the past from it was from IC station actually and uh, that was actually pretty neat and so this is actually a different design that was like a pancake PCB transformer coil sort of doohickey this is actually one of like the beautifully wound ones that have like the uh, the actual hand I don't know if they're hand wound but it's basically like the vertical coil anyway this is the kind that you see when you like google like Tesla coil on, on Google. Anyway, uh, let's just pop this open. So inside it comes packed really well protected. Really want to make sure, lots of little bits of foam too, make sure nothing happens to the coil because it's uh, like very fine wire that's wrapped around like the core, you know, thousands of times. So uh, make sure that nothing bad happens to that. And there's like a metal ball with like, wow, this is interesting with a hex standoff going through it i guess this goes on top just set that to the side some more foam a light bulb of all things okay i know you can light up like neon and fluorescent lights like tube lights but ccfls all that kind of stuff but i don't know if this kind of bulb will light up i don't know then again i, I never really tried like an incandescent bulb. This is 12 volts, 21 watts apparently. Uh, so I guess we'll try that. <laughs> we have an audio cord because, like I said, this is a music-capable version. So we're going to play with that. That That's actually kind of a neat, neat little party trick that I can do. Anyway, it comes with, uh, looks like two neon bulbs. One is just a regular kind of orange-red color, and the other one has phosphorus, which, I mean, I can't tell by looking at it. This is either white white green or blue but i mean the, the phosphorus usually is just white in the unactivated state i don't have a uv flashlight so i can't check but we'll check once we get this guy up and running and then we have sort of this metal pole thingy i guess it screws on top and then this nut with like a wire solder to the top of it we'll get close-ups of all these later we have a instruction sheet Yep, operation manual. Matters needing attention. Tesla coil will generate high frequency and high voltage electric field while when working, which may interfere with some electrical appliances, yada, yada, yada. Therefore, put it away from sensitive devices. Uh, the arc at the top of the Tesla coil belongs to high temperature plasma. It High temperature plasma owns the Tesla coil. So yeah, uh, stay away from flam, inflam. No, I think they mean stay away from flammables. Inflammable literally means not flammable. So why would you need to keep, you know, high temperature stuff away from an inflam? That, that doesn't make sense. Definitely explosives though. You do not want to keep explosives there. At the same time, don't try to touch the arc. Yeah, that'll hurt. Yeah, <laughs> not going to do that. Although you won't get shocked, you'll burn your hands. Yeah, because plasma is basically superheated gas that's uh the ions have been stripped of it um anyway usage yada 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 oh this guy has bluetooth too so it's not just music it has bluetooth that is pretty cool so we'll try that with my phone then and da, 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 da. yeah I mean. so let's get a look at the guy wow this has wow okay has like a, a pretty substantial heat sink and a uh, like a GPU fan on the bottom of it. That's uh, interesting. It does have a little standoff, so it keeps it off the desk so that it can suck the air. 
Uh, also interesting is like the the way that these are constructed. There are little headers, so you could actually unscrew this and remove this top from the bottom. That's pretty cool. The wire from the fan goes into here. There's a little Molex connector thingy. There's a DC input, a headphone jack, and they said something. Does this? They said something about Bluetooth, but I don't think this model has Bluetooth because I'm not seeing like a Bluetooth receiver. You would see either a circuit or like a module soldered on. So I guess this is just the headphone jack version. Maybe there's like a third higher end model. Anyway, uh, not a big deal. I'll just, uh, oh, you're right. My phone doesn't have a headphone jack. Thank you, Apple slash Samsung slash every phone manufacturer now. Anyway, so I'm going to have to find something clearly with a headphone jack so I can actually plug it in. Anyway, uh, let's just peel this off. Wow. Uh, I might actually have to cut this off. And I'm realizing I did not bring a knife of any sort. Give me one sec. Okay, so I got a knife. Stabby, stabby. Wow. Yeah, there's like a, a, a protective film over it, but wow, that is like super finely wound. Like I can almost barely see the... Individ is that a film or is it like varnish? There's some. I think it's varnish actually. Because I, I don't see any ends to the film, and every once in a while I see like a little imperfection in the surface. But yeah, that is super fine. That's that's beautiful, honestly. Love the blue color of the enamel that they used to, and this. Um, so that that would be the secondary, and the primary is around here. It's much thicker wire. So what it's effectively doing is putting a lot of current at a low voltage through the primary, and because of how transformers work, it uh, this secondary has so many more turns than this primary, so it boosts it up by the ratio of the turns. So basically, they're, they're inputting probably only like a couple volts here, switching um, either square wave or sinusoidally, and they're getting, you know, I, I guess ideally like at least a thousand, a couple thousand volts on this secondary here. I just like touching that. <laughs> anyway, you can see like another little transformer inside there. I'm guessing uh, maybe they're doing like multiple stage boosting sort of thing. You can see like nice thick caps too, the little ceramics there. Beauty. But yeah, uh, interesting how they used little PCBs to stand off this coil and connect it through the board. It's actually soldered on the underside there. Actually a really neat way of doing this. And there's like a laser cut form. There you go. The form that everything is mounted on is laser cut and it's screwed in. So yeah. So I guess that's what this ball is for. Is for... There we go. Just screw that in. Oh yeah, you can see JA, JB, and JC, so there are three connections, I guess, going over to the secondary coil, and then the other ones are, the other two are going through these two front PCBs for the primary. Anyway, I'm going to set it down there. I'm just going to put it actually to the back so I don't knock it over and kill it. Last thing in the package is probably the power supply, yep is a big honking power supply with a nice power switch. There we go. Really cool having like a little on off switch. Very nice. Uh, this is 24 volts at three amps. So yeah, pretty beefy. Uh, let's just unwrap this and see what the length. Usually the cords on these aren't super long. You expect you kind of to be near an outlet. Uh, so total from end to end is probably around three and a half to four feet. So, yeah. Uh, one thing, though, is the last one of these that I received, not this exact model, is the one from my C station. I ended up having to fix its power brick because it came broken. Uh, there was like a, a cold solder joint that prevented it working. But, yeah, uh, this power brick... Hopefully it works. There's no LED on here to light up to show you if it's working or not. But uh, yeah, we're just going to plug it in and uh, 
hope that it does work. So I have the cord here. Actually, I have no idea which position is on and off. I'm guessing there's a little line here. I'm guessing that's on, so I'm going to switch it away from that. And uh, I think we're going to have to plug in something from here. One of these should be like a stake. Yeah, there we go. The nice little pointy one. Now, I noticed the other one that I have allows you to adjust the, the amount of power going through. You can adjust the... Uh, like the frequency and the amplitude, this one uh, can't. So, oh, I just heard a beep. There is a blue light. And you guys can't see because, uh, yeah, there's little purple. Just gonna zoom in and shut the lights off if I can figure out how to do that. So there we go. By focusing on that yeah it's very purpley very plasma -y. this is actually a lot quieter than the other one must be like operating at a higher frequency but yeah the fans going made like a, a sound when it started up I wonder if this does have Bluetooth but I just couldn't see where the maybe it's on like the bottom side here let me Shut this off before I electrocute myself. Maybe there's, yeah, actually I was wrong. This does have Bluetooth. You can see that little card right in there on the bottom of the PCB. Wow, cool beans. So this has Bluetooth too. Uh, okay, so um, I guess first off, uh, should I, I'm gonna try not to burn myself. I... So here is, the, uh, this is apparently green phosphor. You have to touch it by the edge there. So I don't short the wires with my fingers. But yeah, you can see it's glowing green there. So yeah, there's that. There's this orange one. Wow, and this one's even more sensitive. I'm barely... I'm like maybe six, seven inches away and it's already starting to glow and then it just gets brighter as I bring it towards it. As I put my hand kind of in the way, I guess my body is affecting the electric field. So it's dimming, but wow, that's, that's pretty cool. Get both of these to glow at once. So yeah, that's really cool. And I think this guy is actually one of those spinner things. Uh, if I can extricate it from the protective foam. Yeah, I think these are one of these little spinner things, yeah. Okay, I uh, just got back from uh, talking with the manufacturer and figuring out how to use some of these things. So I tried running uh, this little helicopter blade looking thing uh, with the ball attached and it didn't work so great. And uh, apparently uh, the manufacturer said that you're just supposed to put this straight on top. I guess the ball does something to, uh, uh, to affect, maybe it's like too tight of a fit, I don't know. Anyway, they said this should work significantly better, so let's fire it up. And already it works significantly better. <laughs> so yeah, oopsie, that was my fault. I tried uh, using it with the ball, it did not work. You just put it straight on top, wow, that actually, that flies. So just, uh, yeah, it looks like it's flickering, like, uh, but it's continuously lit um, when I actually look at it with my eyes, just something with the frame rate of the camera. But yeah, I could just see like a ring of purple. That's really cool. But yeah, I'm not gonna touch it. Resist the urge to touch. Uh, I'm gonna switch that off. That worked really well. Okay, so now for the, the bulb, I played around with this a little bit. Um, I was able to kind of get it to, to work, so we'll give that a quick try, play around with that a little bit more on camera. So there, so here we go. So when I touch it to this end, I don't really see, oh, oh I see like a little, there's like a little purple stream of plasma going to my fingertips. There you go. 
See that? Oh, that gets a little bit warm. <laughs> so yeah, that's a thing that happens. And yeah, actually easier if you touch the metal part. Wow, look at that. Wow, okay, that's cool. Okay, anyway, so there's that. Um, I already showed you guys these little bulbs. You can actually apparently just grab them by the metal ends. I, I, I had a feeling like I didn't know if it would like short it out or something through your, the impedance of your skin, but apparently that doesn't matter. These glow plenty bright. That's the orange one. Great, I just dropped the box. Here's the green one. Fantastic. Last thing I wanted to test was um, I did not do this um, little stringy thing. So, by the way, after you use this for a little while, the steak thing gets a little warm, not like super hot. Maybe the tip might be, uh, but yeah, it gets a little warm. I wouldn't advise like touching it immediately after powering it off. Definitely don't touch it while it's powered on. And so I'm just gonna insert this little string doohickey. Okay, uh, this might need a uh, zoom out or something. We'll see, we'll work with it. Let's turn this on. You can see as it starts getting excited, it starts oscillating more and more. And it's a line right now, but it's sort of Kind of. Yeah, you can kind of tilt it and then it turns into a circle. So hopefully, yeah, there you go. You can see it. It's a big circle. It's, uh, it's a big death circle. <laughs> kind of want to touch it. No, 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 that's bad. Don't touch it. It's pretty, but don't touch it. Yeah, it just like flails around like actually really like mesmerizing to uh, to look at it but yeah so I just want to give you a, a better demo of all these running anyway uh, let me get my phone and actually try to connect to this over Bluetooth da, da, da. so I'm searching and I've already found it just gonna connect to that there and it connected. And th those sounds it's making, it has no speaker. It's making it by modulating the, uh, the primary and thus the secondary. So the plasma itself is actually making the sound. And yeah, plasma is just like superheated gas. So if you were to modulate it, it can send sort of like uh, sound waves. The sound is just pressure waves traveling through space. So yeah, so this works. For pairing, let's uh, play my video, one of my videos, and see what the audio quality is like. I'm going to do my uh, my theme song, my intro. So, my trailer. Do this SJM4306. So that's at max volume right now. And what's cool is I'm gonna get closer to the flame, you can actually see the flame itself dances to the music because it's what's making the, the sound. So yeah, um, my impressions so far, I'm going to actually probably get some other music going on this just to see how it reacts, but this is actually a lot clearer and like better sound quality, oddly enough, than the IC station uh, Tesla coil that I tested out. Like I can actually hear individual words when I was talking in the video. The IC station, it sort of sounded like it like peaked 
like at the very loudest parts of the, the, the music or sound or whatever that you were sending to it, it would um, kind of high pass filter it. And it would only get like sort of the higher frequency, higher uh, volume sounds. But like a lot of it, like you couldn't sit there and watch a video. This I could totally actually understand. Okay, so I'll just throw on one of my other videos and create kind of a brace that, you know, my, my board can slide right into. I just use the same board. Any other board of the same thickness will work just fine. So that I can just wedge the board in and then I very carefully align uh, the stencil on top while looking straight. So yeah, that's, that's perfectly audible. <laughs> that worked way better than I thought it would, huh? So yeah, you could, if you wanted to, use this as a speaker. Now, one thing to note is uh, I had the volume up like pretty loud, and so you do need to turn your volume up. Like this won't work with very quiet audio. You actually need, uh, you know, like pretty much to max out your volume. And it, it, if you go to the absolute max, there's definitely distortion. So this isn't like, you know, a replacement for like high quality speakers or anything like that. I wouldn't really listen to music on this like it's just with a novelty factor and maybe this would actually be really cool kind of for like halloween like a mad scientist sort of prop and then have like you know music playing halloween music or whatever unfortunately a lot of my lab stuff is still packed so i know i have like ccfl tubes i'm going to see if maybe i can find a couple to to play around with this uh but yeah uh my first thoughts are this seems, you know, have better using it as like a speaker, Bluetooth. So far, it seems to work a lot better than the IC station one. Uh, this must be operating at like significantly higher frequency. Maybe that gives it like more bandwidth or something to work with in terms of like the actual plasma generation. But yeah, um, that's really cool. Let's, uh, yeah, look at that. There you go. So the light, the overhead lights are a little bit uh, washing it out, but uh, it looks sort of purple slash blue, but it's it's like completely purple in real life. But yeah, that's that's really cool. Let's see that. And then where did the other one go? Green one. Yeah, that's that's fantastic. So I guess I'll let the uh, Music Tesla Coil do its own outro audio. Uh, once again, huge thanks to Peminol for <laughs> I still can't get over that name for uh, sending the the Music Tesla Coil in for review. And I had a lot of fun playing with this. Uh, I'm sort of I'm a I'm a, a classic like sort of science, technology, engineering nerd. So I got a lot of a pretty good kick out of this. Uh, this is something that's actually really fun to play with. Uh, probably would not recommend this for children. Definitely for adults who like plasma and audio and sort of... Yeah, anyway, you get what I'm trying to say. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, links, information, whatever, if you want to check this out on your own, pick one up maybe, uh, will be down in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.